Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. You know the other day that I made the fresh lasagna sheets and I made them and I told you I was going to make the lasagna with them so now today I'm going to make the lasagna with them. Now <clears throat> I've only boiled about 16 sheets there because I want to make I want to make a, a, this size tray of lasagna today. Uh, I'm going to put four layers in this and it'll serve about six people. If you want to make a smaller one, you can make the smaller trays. I use the L4 trays because then I can just throw them away. Uh, there's different sizes. It all depends how many people you want to make it for or how many is in your family. Or you can make extra dishes and freeze them. So today I'm going to make a large tray. Now the rest of my sheets that I showed you I made, I'm going to, I only boiled about, I got 16 sheets of lasagna here. I boiled it for about eight minutes, seven to eight minutes. That's all you have to boil it for. That's enough. Now, the rest of my sheets that I showed you that I made the other day, what I'm going to do now, I've laid it and I've put a, a piece of baking paper in between each layer and I'm going to I'm going to freeze those and then I can use them another time or you could make a couple of trays now and then you can freeze them whatever you want to do so the rest of my lasagna sheets I've done them in a nice tray like that and I'm going to freeze them so that's what I'm going to do with those okay so now <clears throat> we're going to do a nice tray like that will serve about six people uh, you cut it down the middle and you have six slices and I put four layers of lasagna in this dish, okay? Now, I've gone ahead and made my, uh, my lovely white sauce. My white sauce is, I've done 500 gram, 500 ml I mean, of milk and I put uh, one third a cup of plain flour and I put a knob of butter in it, about about that much a knob of butter in it, and a little bit, half a teaspoon of salt. And I put that in with my bechamel sauce, and it comes out beautiful, just like that. Keep on stirring it around. When it comes to the boil, uh, take it off, and that's your bechamel sauce to put in between the layers. With your, I put bechamel sauce and mozzarella cheese in between the layers. Okay. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, I've told you, <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> I've told you that I made my bolognese sauce. Uh, what I do is I make extra because sometimes uh, I need to make another tray. Uh, you can make an extra mince. I've made about a kilo of mince here. You can make less. But what I've done was, you see, when I've got extra, I'll put it in a container. And therefore, I've already got it made. So if I want to make another tray of lasagna, I've got the lasagna sheets done. All I've got to do is boil them up and I've got the mince sauce done, okay? You can make extra, put it in a container and freeze it and you've got it there all the time. So that's why I make extra. Now, what we do is we put some sauce on the bottom of the dish, like that lovely it's got enough mince through it what i did with this mince this time i put a bit of pork mince and a bit of beef mince in it you can do that or you can make it all beef i just had some pork mince inside and i wanted to use it up so what we do i want to do four layers <clears throat> so what we do is just layer that there like that keep on laying them down doesn't matter if they break <clears throat> There you go. There's three nice, there's three nice sheets of lasagna there. Uh, sometimes, if you want to put another little piece on the side, you can break up the piece and you can put it on the side there uh, and move it around as much as you want to. So now we're going to put some more sauce on that. Enough sauce because it's lovely when you've got that extra sauce. It's beautiful. Just keep on putting it on there like that. Lovely. Now I'm going to put some uh, bechamel sauce on that. Nice. Just enough there. Just a nice. That's lovely. 
And then I'm going to sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on that. Beautiful. It comes so lovely, this homemade lasagna sheets. They're beautiful. Oh, by the way, Katrina, my granddaughter Katrina, gave me a new spoon thing to, uh, for Christmas. So she said, Grandma, you need a new spoon wrist. So there you are, Katrina. I'm using your spoon wrist and your sculpture that she gave me. Okay, Katrina? I'm going to use it. So now we keep on going with the other keep on going with some more sheets of lasagna just pile it up any way you want to it doesn't matter if you have to feel or you break them or you have to peel them down or whatever you've got to do uh, I can put a little bit extra on them just add it make it really nice and comfortable and so here we go again that's the second layer I need four I'm going to do four layers I like doing four layers uh, it's not thick, it's just enough a nice amount of layers. So what we do is just, that's it, beautiful. That sauce is beautiful. I've got a beautiful red sauce here, it comes out lovely. There you go, now I'm going to do your bechamel sauce on top again. Lovely. And my mozzarella cheese, just this is beautiful mozzarella cheese because it just melts in between the layers of your pasta and once again i've got to stress that your fresh made lasagna sheets are absolutely beautiful so keep on doing the same thing i have done this because i have boiled them in my big saucepan i have a big saucepan here and when it comes to the boil i put in my lasagna sheets and i boil them for seven to eight minutes and then I throw, I strain it, and then I've thrown them on a cloth so then they can just dry out, and you can handle them better when they cool down. So just keep on doing the same thing. You see these little pieces? You can just put them in the corner there, and keep on doing that. This is my third layer. I might just put another piece in that corner there, and. Uh, I might put another strip on the side there. I've got another little gap here. I'm going to put another bit there. That filled it up. So now we go again. This is my third layer, which is lovely. It's just enough. Four layers is just enough. And the lovely sauce. As I said, it doesn't matter if you've got extra sauce left over. Just put it in a container. Then you've got... I made 30 sheets the other day, didn't I? So I... I've left them there that I've got to use them up, so you can use them up any time you want to. You can make it all at once. Uh, sometimes I make about three or four of these, put them in the deep freeze, because I have a big family and we do use it up, so they always come in handy. So now we do some more with the bechamel sauce. There's 500 mils of milk here, and with the, just a third of Third a cup of flour, a little knob of butter, a bit of salt, and that's all you need. We do the mozzarella cheese on top. There you go. And now we're going to layer another layer. This is my fourth layer, my final layer. As I said, you can break up the pieces, you can fill in your gaps. You can work it out any way you want to. Uh, it doesn't matter because when you cut into it, it'll just all cut into nice. So there you go. I've got about three pieces left over there. So you go. But you know what I'm going to do with those three pieces, I'll tell you. That that's going to be my lunch. Okay. So now that's it. So now we've got put blood on that. But keep on laying it up. That's beautiful. Four layers is just enough. Just enough. Keep on doing the same thing. That lovely sauce and that lovely mince. Beautiful. Just keep on putting enough on the sides there. Push it down. Push it down on the side there. Lovely. That's all we need. Beautiful. 
Okay, so now we're going to put the rest of the bechamel sauce. You see, there's just enough. That 500 ml of milk is just enough for the four layers. It's beautiful. There you go. I better use Katrina's spoon rest because otherwise, she said, Grandma, you have to use your new spoon rest. So there you go, Katrina, I'm using it. Put that extra cheese on the top. I've got, I've got some more here. I think I'll put another bit in. On the corners, you need a lot. What I'm going to do now, what you have to do is, when you don't want cheese, I've told you this before, when you don't want cheese to stick to anything, you need your baking paper. So you need your baking paper and that cheese won't stick. So what we do is put a piece of baking paper and put it like that, on top of that, fold it back, and there, that's how you do it. And that, when you heat that up, that cheese won't stick on that baking paper. Then what I do is, I'll just put some nice elf oil on top of that. Now you can freeze this, or you can cook it straight away, whatever you want to do. Uh, put it on about 180. Look, that'll only take 30 to 35 minutes, 40 minutes at most. You can take it out, let it settle down, and then cut it up in pieces. And you've got a beautiful tray of lasagna with that lovely, uh, fresh pasta sheets. Now, you know what I'm going to do with this. Now, this is another thing. I'm going to have this for lunch. Now, I'm going to just cut that up in big fettuccine slices. There you go. And another one. So, and I'm going to put some sauce on that. I'm going to cut it in strips. You see, I've cut it in strips because I just did a couple extra sheets. So there they go. Now I'm going to I'm going to toss in some of that lovely sauce. I've got some sauce here, some more sauce here, and I'm going to I've got some more sauce here. I'm going to put some lovely sauce on top of that. And that's going to be my lunch. Lovely. See, you don't have to waste anything. Just, that's it. Then look, if you've got sheets left over, just cut them in strips and put some nice sauce on top of them and a lovely bit of cheese on that. Heat it up in the microwave and I've got my nice lunch. Okay, so <clears throat> there you go. Now, with the rest of your sheets, you can either use them up and make another tray or unless now what I've done, you see what I've done with those sheets that I did the other day, we did 30 of them. The rest of my sheets, I'll put it in a nice tray, I'll put some baking paper in between them and I'm going to freeze them. When I want to make another tray of lasagna, I'll take them out, boil them up, have my, I've got extra sauce done, I've got a container of sauce done, I've got another container of sauce, I'll bake extra. And uh, there you go, I'll make another tray, okay? Oh, well, there you go, we've made the fresh lasagna sheets. And now I've made your lovely lasagna tray of, to have ready for the family. So I hope you're going to enjoy making your lasagna and, and that you're going to taste the difference by using your lovely fresh pasta sheets. Okay, thank you for watching, enjoy, bye.